Hi Virgo. Welcome to this space. If you are new here, and welcome back if you're returning. <laughs> okay, Virgo. So, uh... Okay, creativity in... Uh, seeing your job as creative. That helps. That helps. Uh, how is your job creative right now? How are you creating um, with the public? That's a question. Uh, I do also feel as if speaking with people during this time frame will be emphasized. Now, I chose two decks this month. Happy opposite birthday, by the way, or whenever you find this, but it is when I'm recording it. Um, so we chose from uh, the Dakini or Oracle and then this other deck, but you received the magic carpet. Scorpio received this a long time ago. Uh, you're connected. You've always been connected to them um, in my the way I see it. So I'll link that reading. I guess this is actually all month everybody's been doing this where we're learning from other people and how beautiful is that, right? Car magic carpet red. So this card, it can represent travel. Uh, maybe you've been traveling or you will be traveling. For some of you, it can be a change of residence. Um, how else do I see this? Well, I guess there's kind of a, this is a, this has a bit of Vir Virgonian tendencies to it where it like, it doesn't want to be wrapped up in the physical reality of life, it would prefer to be in the spiritual, but because you're a human, um, it's important to know that balance. That's that Pisces, Virgo, your opposites balance, right? You can combine reality and, and, and surrealism if you want. And I guess in ways of art, perhaps, again, creativity, this could be, maybe some of you are finding new means of expressing yourself or you're finding like a new level in your creation. I keep seeing the word art. Uh, there was one other sentence that I wanted to read specifically. Uh, oh, it also suggests the entering in of a new way of reacting, possibly with regard, uh, a new way of reacting. Let's do that, period. Um, there's also regard to spiritual instructions or a spiritual teacher could be coming into one's, your frame of reference. Uh, now, remember God speaks, in my opinion, God speaks through many, like many things, right? Um, and it isn't always so literal. Sometimes, you know, your child can be your teacher, if you will, you know, your, um, Things, things of this nature, a stranger even can be a teacher, you know, uh, somebody you don't even know their name. So, either way, it's an upliftment, right? This is a magic carpet in the air. <clears throat> I like that for you. Maybe your energy has been low, or I guess for some of you, this is lifting up. For others of you, this is where you're meant to come down. It depends where you've been. Let's go over this one more time before we jump in. If the if if what is holding the most water in your life is a sort of uh, why well, I, I went up high first. So if it was like heavy spiritual uh, mental observational space and the practical has been being disregarded then you know maybe there's been a lot of movement again like the air then you have to come down right the empress wants you to come down for those of you who have been being 
very practical, like very Virgo, like doing a really good job with that, like attending to all the things. This is where um, you may need a little, like to travel for fun, um, to go to a new place, to try something new. You know what I mean? Um, it's almost like, Well, I just saw a baby bird leaving the nest. Um, okay. Should we talk about this chameleon? He's on the bottom. Look, just for a second, if you can see, what do you think about this face? <laughs> it's a funny character. I feel like they're a little, uh, frowny pants. You know what I mean? It's a little bit like, mm. um, remember any of you who also like feel like a spiritual warrior, this has come up in your readings, like the spiritual guardian of people, of, of the mystery, did, did we talk about this, like, Virgo, you know the, key, you know the mysteries of the universe, like, you know the song of the universe, I mean, so does everybody else, but Virgo's gonna want to go through there, so just, and I know you know that life is, like, there's this temporary, like, impermanence to it, to things, um, but the way that we do deal with obstacles and handle things and treat our bodies and how much sleep, you know, maybe when we sleep, that's what, how much rest the soul actually need, the heart and soul and head, right? Head, mind, body, mind, heart, and soul need, how much are you sleeping? How much are you praying? Okay, I want to open up all your cards. Doop, boop, boop. Wow. Holy two sixes. The Empress and the Hangman. Two majors, two sixes. Okay, just a second. Virgo. You have the most positive cards thus far. Thank you. Collectively speaking. <clears throat> Let me take you in a minute. Take take this in a minute. It's very colorful. Uh, yellow, green, orange, blue down at the bottom, and bits of red. Red are in all the cards, so we're talking about stability. Um... I saw the word inferiority, inferior. Just a minute. Okay, so let's start. Well, yours kind of turned into, hold on a second. There is a lot of creativity here because I'm seeing this more as like directions, northeast, southwest, and these on the corners of this carpet are actually little Buddhas, um, which are sort of like the angels that guard the the um, the corners at the four corners of the earth. So let's talk about it this way. Um, let's start with you. You're all adults, so the adult sits in. The Empress position. So this shows uh, one who is who loves God, who knows that they're safe and loved and protected. They know that they're beautiful. They're a very giving person. They're very kind. Um, this could also show great respect for women, also. Um, a regard for the feminine a respect and regard for the feminine. Um, so 
Someone's quite content with themselves, with what they have created. W what did your mother create? Like, wh how did, um, what's this about? Blow your mind. Um, how was your mother creative? What What is your mother's creative, like, thing? How did she also relax? How does how did your mother relax? You hear the donkey? You know, the donkeys only sleep four hours uh, a day. They're up for twenty hours. They're always on guard, always looking around. Um, they want to have a like they prefer. They love their job. You know what I mean? They love their job. Uh, do you have children of your own? Uh, I guess they could show that too. Could also be the mother of your children. For some of you, there's a big part of this. I guess this also is showing me a kind of like independence in a dynamic, right? Because usually the empress would go with the emperor. Um, but in this card, the Empress sits alone, uh, like she doesn't, in the story of the Empress, she finds her, her Emperor is God, it's not her husband, like that's who's first, <clears throat> and that's who ultimately protects her in this card, is God, for three years, right? Could be starting a new cycle with that also. Like a new three-year growth cycle. Uh, I guess this is also March when I'm recording this. I like this three here. This shows that this is a good time to um, think about the gardens you want to grow. Think about what you're trying to grow. <clears throat> or what you're trying to do over the next couple years. I, I mean, of course, we could reel this back. To me, majors are bigger, so it's... And tarot is longer than most people think, you know what I mean? People want instantaneous things. That is not how nature works, right? It's slow. So maybe it's some new ideas also, or <clears throat> realizing how far you are with a goal and how that is helping... I heard you and your family grow. <clears throat> now, when it comes to your elders, uh, I see that someone, someone who is older than you, um, this could be maybe some of you, uh, somebody older than you will give you something. Um, But you weren't asking for it. Exactly. It, it's like whatever you need, <clears throat> you receive. Whatever you need, you receive, Virgo. Uh, and I do see people that are older than you or wiser than you will help you in a very physical way, like a practical way, a tangible way. Maybe it's a little bit about like an inheritance or it could be putting money away for a rainy day. Maybe that's also another thing is like learning from your elders, like how simple <clears throat> they were, those previous generations. Do you know what I mean? And like where you put your time and your energy and how that creates your future. Now, well, let's go down to your inner child. So the child here is in the hangman energy. So the child, I guess, in in you is still a little bit, like, kind of stuck in the 12th house. It, it's like...
Who protected you when you were a kid, Virgo? Or where was the first time you ever remember, like, being stuck? Like, where you needed some... You needed somebody to... Like, you wanted to figure something out. And no one helped you, so you had to figure it out on your own. What's that thing? How do you feel about that? I mean, I sense that you, you probably enjoy figuring things out independently speaking. Now, as this is in a way sort of Odin, Odin hung for, I think it was nine days until he saw the runes, right? So maybe there's something about... During this time frame, whenever you find this, maybe it's kind of like... Because you have threes, sixes, and now we're seeing the number nine. Three, six, nine, right? And then I pulled to slay the ego, which is also a, a 12, like the hanged man. So you're, so you're, because this is the thing, Virgo, you could stay in this tree all day. Your inner child could stay in this tree all day about something. Um... But you're probably never going to figure it all out this life. I mean, you can get really far. You can figure out a lot of stuff. But then it's kind of like, okay, so you have all this information. Well, now what do you want to do with it? Um, I guess for some of you children, or again, your inner child, it could be holding you back from something. Or it's making you, it's wanting you to be... Uh, more patient or more adult about something. Uh, let's see an extra card on this. Virgo. Oh, by the way, this one did not, when I was shuffling, this card, I shuffled for a long time and it wouldn't... It just didn't want to. I had to go into the birth energy. Alright, Queen of Swords. So there's your sword. So basically, Libra, your neighbor, is like, uh, hey... All your blood's gonna run to your head. Y you know, you better turn. You better turn yourself upside down. Um, someone can help you. Someone can help you get out of this. Maybe this is also. It uh, could be uh, Queen of Swords to me gives great advice. It's straight. Um, it's clear. It's concise. Um, direct. I guess you need to ask yourself, where am I stuck? I see these questions. Where am I stuck? How can I take what I've learned now and apply it more? Right, for instance, as adults, we only know what our parents kind of, what, what our upbringing showed us. Then we teach ourselves new things, right? For instance, when my sister and I when my sister and I were small, they used to have a stack of wood uh, and do all sorts of other things, trim trees, you know, blah blah blah, shovel the driveway, you know, things. Once we were of a certain age, and even when we were young, I remember pulling up the chair to the sink before we could even reach it to do the dishes. And now, when I was little, I never really liked to do it. I felt like a slave, right? I was like, ah, wah, wah, wah. but as an adult, it's it's taught me so much about being like so thankful. Maybe that's one of those things is where you want to go back to when you were small, and there was a thing that you were sort of forced to do, or you had to do something that you didn't want to do. But, but now you can look at it with different eyes. Um, like a child, like a childhood experience with different, with a different perspective. I mean, that's what the hangman's all about is seeing something from a different point of view. Right. And then applying that practically. That's, that's the whole point. Right. That's the whole point. Because this... To me, the spiritual, the practical becoming spiritual is the enlightenment of the human. 
Do you know what I mean? You don't have to be a preacher. You don't have to be a guru. You don't have to be a counselor. You don't have to be any of these like technical things. You just have to know that you're a person and you're meant to be here and that has its purpose and your physical efforts in this life and how you treat other people hi baby how you treat other things is while you're interacting in this physical life is what why heard keeps the bad spirits at bay You know, keeps the bad spirits away. I want you to look at the future with contentment, with satisfaction, with positivity, with faith. If any, if you don't have all the answers, you're not supposed to. You know what I mean? No. It's not fun to, to, what's that about? Well, I guess sometimes you have to act like the only, all right, I heard sometimes you have to, you, you, oh, I see. There's a feeling here where a person feels as if, someone feels as if they have to do everything on their own. And if they don't do it themselves, then it will never get done or it will not get done the way that they want. So this blocks them from connecting with others in the way that they want emotionally. For other people, there's a need to look at, and you've talked about this many times before, for some of you, there's a need to look at uh, well, I guess the point is, is where, where are you blocking yourself? And not thinking ahead, right? The tower only comes when one doesn't think ahead, when they only live in the past. It, like, Six of Cups is la-la land, right? Or maybe where some of you have lost faith in something. <clears throat> Just a minute. What do we want for time? Okay, let's let's look at the future. Let's look at the bird. What are you creating now? Six of Wands. Well, whatever you're creating will create something beautiful. The thing is, is this child, none of you are a child here. Let's back up into this just for a second because the, the new things in your life, the you as an adult and you within other adults and you in, um, like your elders or your, your wisdom, your wisdom, spiritual teachers, all this other people and, and even physical teachers, like that's all, that's all golden. The inner child, though, needs attention. If you have children and they are still a child, you know, three, six, nine years old, I guess, th these ages, maybe up until 10, then they need more structure. Uh, they need a little bit of discipline, too. Um, and you know what it reminds me before I did your reading Zumi growled for a second because she heard the a vehicle at the end of the road and my instant response without thinking which I'm usually pretty good at catching myself but my instant response was no and then what I realized I was like oh that's not I was like what I meant to say was it's okay there's different ways to diffuse different things. Now, sometimes, for instance, excuse me, sometimes, for instance, a, a solid, someone's just like, I want to go climb that, you know, like, I want to go climb that really high tree. No. Right? Because you actually rule, to me, risk. 
so so it's about choice right it's like okay what you do to what you do what you reap is what you sow right and now if you have teenagers i feel like their their influence around them the teenager self is like very influenced by that which is around them and this could also be a part of you where there's like a teenager part of you that doesn't want to grow up now the thing is is you can create with that but if we're going back in it i don't know why we're doing this but there's different levels so <clears throat> the teenager uh how did you what kind of structure did you have when you were a teenager you know were you allowed to run free did you did you do whatever you want um did you could you take advice can you take advice now uh, what were your mistakes back then? Now, if this is your teenager child, for some of you, this would also be where, again, you have to remind them, and they may not understand it now, but they'll, and this, they'll understand it later, and this goes back into what we talked about earlier. You know, let me give an example of myself. I remember when, when I was young, and I was, I don't know, I guess I grew up kind of fast, so I was maybe like you know, pre-teen, late adolescent, I was hanging out with people, and my mother was like, you know, if, if you jump off a bridge, if Johnny jumps off a bridge, you're gonna jump off the bridge too, and I'd be like, no, <laughs> but the thing is, is people are influenced by others, and it helped me to realize, and I actually had a dream about it last night, where it's like, you know, bad company ruins good morals, you know, and so there's a need sometimes to protect and be like, no, you know, structure. Um, you know, I heard you can't loaf. I saw a kid playing like video games, sitting on somebody playing video games, sitting on the couch. It's like, you can't loaf around sitting on the phone. It's like, I heard someone be like, you can't loaf around all day. You know what I mean? And. So, back to it, I'm seeing this, um, what is it when you were young that you didn't want to do, or that, like, what is an experience of the past that you can now look at in a different way as an adult, and appreciate it, you know, be glad about it laugh about it be be so happy you're like wow i am so glad that that happened because now i know how, like what's up with this you know like yeah. <laughs> okay six of wands um if any of you are married it might be a nice time or in the future maybe in the summer to um actually i guess six of wands can kind of represent moving forward too uh, but maybe there's like a renewal of vows or there's like a, a new commitment of something. Yeah, some sort of celebration um, get together. There's the hermit. This isn't something that costs a lot of money. It's just like a togetherness that's really beautiful. Uh, who are you hanging out with for friends also? Uh, who of your friends are married? Um, are you married? Would you like to be married if you're not? How are you dealing with your stress at work too? Uh, some of you also could find a new friend for any of you who, this is so interesting how it's going in these all specific little layers, but it's, I'm also seeing where, uh, if any of you want to meet new people, I see that you can. Um, and that can really grow into something beautiful. Uh, but I heard that you have to put away childish ways. Right? When I became a man, I, pu I put away childish things. Maybe this is about habits uh, for some of you or reactions again, but you have this center card again that this magic carpet talked about a new means of reacting, 
right? And having a higher spiritual, like a higher awareness of, of something. Um, and you also feeling content again with the practical as this practical as spiritual, you know? Someone may be concerned about, um, well, how do I see this? Well, I heard you gotta give a little, you gotta give a little, you gotta give to get. You can't give to get, but you need to give to get. Right, if you just hold on, can't move ahead. Uh, what would you like to do with what you have? How much money do you have in your bank account? Um, is your paperwork in order? Are your taxes in order? Um, and you know what? You ended up with the king and queen of swords at the bottom in the child space with, again, this hangman. So there there does need to be a conversation maybe for some of you too like if you're young it would be like well do you want to have kids like what do you think about that you know don't have sex with anybody that doesn't want to have kids if you want to have kids you know what is the what is the purpose behind everything and i would say that there's a there's a it would be really good to have a conversation uh with the stubborn side of yourself <laughs> yeah like you need to you need to kind of have an argument with yourself like figure it out i guess that's a question too is like how do you resolve problems like do you disengage do you have the conversation do you even have the disagreement at times how, how do you how do you resolve when there's an issue and it's built up for any reason you know what I mean? Do you pray on it? Do you keep it to yourself? Whatever. Because, oh, remember, words also very much influence that which is around you. So what did your mother always, like your mother or your father, for some of you, always say to you? Or was your father around? Like, I don't know. Like, what did you learn from their adult adulting i know that's a lame word from from their adult expression you know and if anyone was a person of few words in your family who was that too and and again what did you learn from them right the most influential person in your life doesn't have to be a person that you spent a lot of time with sometimes it's a very short period you know what i mean so you decide there what what that is interesting reading i feel like that went a wish fulfilling gem remember if you feel like you have to do everything yourself because it won't be perfect if someone else does it you're blocking yourself if any of you are allowing anyone else to take care of your own practic practical parts, which I feel like is rare with Virgo, but it depends where you have it, then that needs to be stepped up to be able to achieve, you know, the situation. Like, wh whatever is being desired here. Because there's one, there's a desire, there's some sort of wish to have things go together to you know what i mean you know maybe for some of you want to talk about like if you are like married you could be like do we want to have another child something like that too you know like because if you think about it it's kind of like well this is a big this is a whole new response what is the new responsibility you're trying to create you know because when you want something um then you got to know what you have to do 
to have that happen, right? And if you know what those things are, then you generally succeed. Yep. Yes. Yes. And you have the spiritual, you know, that faith in your, in your heart. And you pray on it, right? Okay. Interesting reading. I love you so much. Thanks, Virgo, for being part of this space. Thanks for being here. I feel like there's been such a duality in all the readings this month. It makes sense. I guess it's in Pisces. It's like, oh, it could be this way. It could be that way. I guess you decide, you know, do you want it to be sunny? Do you want it to be overcast? I'll talk to you next time. Peace out.